Alan, great to talk to you. Uh, amazing character. Um, talk about developing you, him. Oh, you're welcome. Talk about developing him and his speech pattern to start off anyway. He's learning everything about being human in the beginning, uh, which is fun. I love that when I first read the script, the series of him watching Law and Order and and it just coming, him trying and it just coming out as, ah, da, 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 da. so when he finally does have speech, it's, um, the words are formed almost uh, individual, individually. They are all by themselves. Uh, when I first started working with Chris, I, he would write with contractions and, and I was like, can we take those out? It, it, it helps the speech pattern for him not to say can't, but to say cannot do a thing, that it, it, it just gives it that a little bit of distance, that stilted nature that he can say the whole correct way of speaking. And I learned all that stuff at acting school years and years ago, where they break you down and teach you how to say things correctly. And at that point, it's, it's a scary and traumatic experience. And so I, I could pull from that uh, scary and traumatic experience. <laughs> Uh, cause it's somewhat scary and traumatic for Harry as well. And then physicality, it's the same thing, just in a physical form about the movement and how to pick things up that it's just broken down into almost robotic movement, which I luckily have had a couple of, uh, tries at doing with, uh, Sonny and iRobot. That was how we approached that. And uh, that a robot would move with, uh, efficiency and, you know, just sort of ergonomic efficiency. What's the best way for a skeletal form to do things and maintain balance? And K2SO uh, for Rogue One as well, just on stilts, uh, a similar thing. Mm -hmm. What's it like to play a character that literally says whatever is on his mind and really is not concerned what other people say or think? Right, it's like being a child. <laughs> in that way it's that <laughs> yeah um it's great it's a lot of fun it it makes for a lot of fun because he's awkward uh he doesn't understand things there's the great there's a line they put it in one of the trailers uh maybe we'll get you some uh send you home with some leftovers fine i'll take I'll take the rest of the pie and these six bananas. <laughs> he's, he's just taking what he wants. Oh, good. You're giving me food to take home. Then I'll take all of the pie and your bananas to go, please. Uh, yeah. yeah. You're not very smart. You look angry. You're not. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> and, and his attempts at humor. What's that like for you? Being that you're a naturally funny guy. <laughs> oh, it's funny. There's a part that's uh, where he laughs. He makes his first joke. Um, and he it's in one of the things too, where he laughs. It's like that first time, like a kid makes a joke and they make themselves laugh and they get it and they make themselves laugh. Uh, it's very fun. Um, it's very fun to give into that and to, to just run with it. <laughs> It's, he laughs so awkwardly. It's. It <laughs> uh, what's it? What was it like to shoot the scene where, well, let's just say there's a uh, there's fisticuffs, so to speak, uh, that starts off, where we meet Harry originally, and then <clears throat> something happens. Right. <laughs> that was great. Um, you know, the alien has two sets of arms. And uh, so if you're fighting an alien, <laughs> you need to be aware of both sets of arms. If, you, if you've got two of them wrapped up, there's still two coming at you. Um, that was fun. They were little bitty arms. We had three sets of little arms on set that we got to play with. Some of them were almost like they had claw, a, a claw feature that they actually moved. Um, so somebody's off, off set, just off camera, <laughs> applying them to my neck. And... Uh, then I, I think there was one where I had to put them on myself uh, that we didn't end up going with. That stuff's fun. That stuff's when you're making 
You're making an alien show. You're making, you're doing some sci-fi. You're fighting an alien. So you know, I, prosthetics and yeah. I, I, uh, I hate to compare things, but I would say this reminds me of Northern Exposure meets my favorite Martian with a spicy <laughs> dash of dark humor. I love it. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm tuning in Wednesdays at 10. There you go. There you go. Um, what, uh, what about... Uh, Tony, I'm very sorry that it's all the time. We that's have. all the time. Oh, no. Alan, a pleasure. You're the best, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, Cheers, absolutely. Everybody. Cheers, buddy.